It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's barged his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Ada, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. The car's looking OK, Aiden. See if you can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not OK. That's really not OK. Our gap behind is 3.0 seconds. this lap of the race. Keep this up. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. this lap of the race so far. One lap of fuel remaining. All right, 
don't race over, take care of the car on the way in. Plenty to look at there and a little bit ominous seeing the two Haas teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper, Ackerman, Mum, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now, no. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do.
It's a great day for racing here at Le Castellet, and the drivers are making their final preparations on the grid. Let's hope for a thrilling contest then, here at the French Grand Prix. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, six left and nine right, for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Noor. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Haas underperforming somewhat. The two Haas drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Russell, Kvyat, Antonio Giovinazzi and Aidan Jackson, Gasly and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. OK, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden.
our teammate by 6.7 seconds. Best in luck you can. Start losing some tire grip around now. Go now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. in this race are Verstappen and Leclerc. 
Okay, gap ahead is 3.8 seconds. Sorry, we can't provide you with... the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Business as usual for the big three but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Haas. Frankly they should be in the mix more often. On a good day they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. So, Aidan, it's a great result for you here today. The team must be delighted with a solid points finish. Yeah, I'm good. It's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. I'm sure we'll be looking at all the data from today and working out how we can build on it for the rest of the season. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Definitely. In my mind, there was never an issue. Driving for Formula One is all I've ever worked towards. The transition was always going to be smooth. There's no complaints for me so far. So there's no current tensions within the team? We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns. Well, that's up to Casper. Maybe he thinks I'm yet to prove myself. Who knows? Hopefully today has gone some way to doing that. If there is still a problem between us, it's not from me. Great. Well, that's everything. Brian. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, OK. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aidan. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favourite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there. And I can't wait to see you. 
Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon.